Welcome to our service for Monday in Holy Week. The Father holds you in his eternal care. The Son stretches out his arms for you on the cross of suffering. The Spirit bears you up that you may come to your home. The Blessed Trinity sustains you in your coming and your going. reading from St John's Gospel, chapter 18, verses 37 to 40. You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth, retorted Pilate. With this he went out again to the Jews gathered there and said, I find no basis for a charge against him, but it is your custom for me to release to you one prisoner at the time of the Passover. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? They shouted back, No, not him. Give us Barabbas. And Barabbas had taken part in an uprising. There it is again, choice. Pilate wants to be off the hook. He can see that Jesus is not subversive, trying to overthrow Roman rule, that there is no crime here worthy of death in the Roman catalogue of justice. But he also sees that the Jewish authorities are determined to elicit a death penalty from him. He tries to lead Jesus into incriminating himself by challenging him directly. So you are a king. But Jesus hands the responsibility back to Pilate. These are his words. For he himself, he makes this claim, that he has come as a witness to the truth, and those who seek truth will recognise it in him. How does Pilate respond? With a jest? A cry for enlightenment? An impatient rebuke? What is truth? Something deeper stirs. He admits that he finds no crime in Jesus. This is a challenge to the Jewish authorities. He holds before them the possibility of a conflict, then offers them a way out. He gives them a choice by reminding them of the Passover custom, that one person should be released from prison, offering them Jesus, who they say claims to be king of the Jews. But this is one conflict they do not want to avoid. They are clear that they want to see Jesus put to death. So they refuse the offer and ask for Barabbas, a convicted criminal. Their choice is made, and so is ours. We are often presented with a choice of light or darkness, of good or evil, of life or death, of sacrifice or ease of following Jesus or following some popular hero who makes worldly demands of us. Are we ready to make the choice of Jesus, whatever the cost? Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? Pilate asked. Let us pray. God of truth, there are those who tell us that fulfilment is found in power or that happiness is attained through wealth. Many claim that ambition's goal is the supreme end of all life's efforts. What is the truth about life and death, this world and the next? What is the inner secret that gives meaning to our existence? 
you have declared the truth in Jesus, your Son, our Lord. If we seek the truth, we shall find it as we respond to the voice of Jesus. God of peace, we rejoice in your presence and we delight to do your will. Help us to find in you the peace that passes all understanding, so that mind, heart and soul offered to you, we may be rooted and grounded in your love. God of light, you have caused light to shine in dark places and hope to overcome despair. Grant that we, by living and sharing your gospel, may reflect a little of your glorious light and may point the way to salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Where there is truth, there is God's blessing of peace. Where there is justice, there is God's blessing of peace. Where there is righteousness, there is God's blessing of peace. May the peace of God be in your family, in your home, your neighborhood, this nation, and in your hearts, today and always.